Cervical Cancer Statistics, a Gapminder video with Hans Rusling. Cervical cancer is common in middle-aged women. It is caused by a papilloma virus that is sexually transmitted and after a long chronic infection in some women it causes a lesion in the lower part of the uterus that can develop into cancer. Now this form of cancer there has been success both in prevention and in treatment. Let me show you the statistics for Denmark and Norway. Look here. Denmark had 1953 29 women who got cervical cancer per 1,000 women. It was half the rate in Norway. And when we move forwards, look what has happened here. Denmark got higher and higher and they said we have to do something. And they started screening program 1966 and it's falling like this. And Norway started it 10 years later and it's falling also in Norway. And this has been a fantastic success with the screening of all healthy women so that the cancer can be detected before it develops. Now, actually, this is due to the pap smear eh, discovered by a Greek uh, researcher, Papa Nikolaos. And when that is applied, Denmark has been able to reduce the proportion of women who get cancer from 34 per 100,000 down to today 13. Now, let me now compare this pattern with the whole world, what has happened in Denmark. Uh, I will, I will um, change the time axis here and instead of that I will show income per person so we can see difference in rich countries and in poor countries. Look here. Uh, I will also expand so that we can see the whole world. Here we are. On the horizontal axis, income per person. On the vertical axis, we have the number of new cases of cervical cancer uh, per 100,000 women. And you can see it's the poorest countries here that has most of this country, of this cancer. It is here, up here, we have Tanzania. Here we have Zambia. Here we have African countries like Guinea, but also Nicaragua, also Peru. And the richer the countries get, the less of cervical cancer there is in the world. And this shows that, that Norway down there, you know, and Denmark up here. Denmark had 1956 exactly the same frequency of this cancer as Mexico have today. And they have the same income at that time as Mexico had today. So in contrast with breast cancer that increase with income, cervical cancer decrease because better treatment is available and better prevention is available. And also health education is important to avoid this sexually transmitted infection.